Hey there, future remote workers. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Shane, and I'm all about helping you find and land the perfect remote job. And today we're gonna be diving into the world of Amazon, a company that's not just revolutionizing e-commerce, but also the way we work. Look, in this post-pandemic world, remote work isn't just a trend. It's the new normal. And let me tell you, there isn't anything more important in 2024 than increasing your ability to earn income from the comfort of your home. And I don't know if you've noticed, but there are remote opportunities everywhere, especially at Amazon. All you gotta do is claim them because Amazon hires more people than some small countries have citizens. So in this video, I'm gonna break down 17 Amazon work from home jobs you can apply for right now. And as long as you have a laptop, a stable internet connection, and the willingness to work, you're set. I'm not saying these jobs are gonna make you a millionaire overnight, but they could definitely replace your current income or give you opportunities for a solid side income. Now, before we dive into the list, here are three things to focus on that will 10X your chances of landing these jobs. Number one, you wanna tailor your resume for each position. I want you to go through your work history and highlight any skills or experiences that align with Amazon's leadership principles. They're big on customer obsession, ownership, and delivering results. So make sure your resume screams, I'm a perfect fit for Amazon. Also, as a little bit of a pro tip, Amazon loves hiring people who are athletes. So if you've ever done anything athletic, Athletic. For instance, if you are part of a dodgeball team, make sure they know about that. Number two, practice your interview skills. Amazon's interviews are notoriously tough, so be ready for behavioral questions. Use the STAR method, situation, task, action, result. Trust me, it works. They wanna hear specific examples of how you've handled challenges in the past. Number three, familiarize yourself with Amazon's tools and technologies. Even if you're not applying for a tech role, understanding their ecosystem will give you a massive edge. So take some time to learn about AWS, which is Amazon Web Services, their fulfillment processes, and their various consumer products. All right, so let's get into the meat of this video. Here are 17 Amazon work from home jobs to try in 2024. The first one is very obvious, but it's a customer service associate. And this is where many Amazonians start their journey. You'll be on the front line handling customer inquiries via phone, email, and chat. And the best part, you can do this in your pajamas if you want. Just make sure you sound professional. The pay is competitive, at least for a customer service position, and there's room for growth. And keep in mind that there are actually some Amazon executives executives that started out in customer service. Now for the salary at Amazon, it's up to $15 per hour. So it's not amazing. And this is probably not something where you wanna do it for the rest of your life. But at the same time, Amazon takes customer service incredibly seriously. So you can learn a lot from this and move into better roles down the line. For instance, you could become number two on the list, which is a virtual customer service trainer. Now, if you've got some experience under your belt and you love helping others succeed, this could be your jam. You'll be responsible for training new customer service associates, developing training materials, and ensuring everyone's up to speed with Amazon's latest policies. Now, this role requires excellent communication skills and the ability to engage a virtual audience. And Amazon trainers earn an average pay of $26 per hour, so significantly more than customer service representatives. Customer service, please. Now, if you have the customer service representative skills and you add just a little bit of technical know-how to that, you can do number three on the list, which is a technical support associate. So if you're a tech whiz and you enjoy solving problems, this one might be for you. You'll be helping customers and Amazon employees employees, troubleshoot issues with Amazon devices like Kindle, Fire TV, and Alexa. And the cool thing about this job is that you're not just answering calls, you're actually diving deep into tech issues and coming up with creative solutions. Now, according to Indeed, the average hourly rate for this role is $15.34, but there is going to be a lot of room for upward mobility in a job like this. Simply being able to get your foot in the door in the technology industry can open doors for you down the line that can be incredibly lucrative. For instance, many people I've interviewed on this channel have gone into tech sales. And this is way easier to get into if you already have a bit of a technical background. And by the way, there's some free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below that shows you exactly how they were able to do that. Number four is going to be an Amazon Flex delivery driver. Now I know what you're thinking, wait, isn't this supposed to be about work from home jobs? Well, hear me out. While you're not sitting at home for this one, you do have the flexibility to choose your own schedule and essentially be your own boss. And you'll use your own vehicle to deliver packages in your local area. So it's perfect for those who want to supplement their income or need a flexible schedule. Now, most drivers drivers earn between $18 and $25 an hour, according to the Amazon Jobs website. So this is actually really good. And by the way, comment down below if you've tried any of these out and let me know what you think about them. I know that Amazon doesn't have the best reputation, but at the same time, it is relatively easy to land jobs. So there's pros and cons. Next is gonna be an Amazon FBA seller. Now, this is not a job in the traditional sense by any means, but it is still a fantastic opportunity to build your own business, leveraging Amazon's massive platform and infrastructure. And as an FBA seller, you basically source 
those products, list them on Amazon, and then they handle the storage, packing, and shipping. So it's a great way to dip your toes into entrepreneurship without the headache of managing all of the logistics yourself. And Amazon does this with more than just Amazon FBA. There's lots of other programs such as the Amazon Kindle program as well. Now, successful Amazon sellers are typically going to earn at least $1,000 per month with top sellers reaching well over $100,000 a month. And about 40% of sellers make between $1,000 and $25,000 a month, which translates to $12,000 to $300,000 annually. So the most common method is launching a private label product through Amazon's FBA program. So this is one to definitely consider, although it's likely one that you will not be making money with right off the bat. Plus, it does require an upfront investment. Next is going to be a content writer. And Amazon is always in need of skilled writers to create product descriptions, marketing copy, and blog posts. And if you have a way with words and you can write compelling content that sells, this could be your ticket into the Amazon ecosystem. And this actually pays well. According to Indeed, the average salary for a content writer is about $8,500 a month. Now, if you're thinking, writing's cool, but how do I make the big bucks with my creativity? Well, I've got just the thing for you. Want to learn how to turn your passion for content creation into a money-making machine? Well, I've put together the ultimate YouTube monetization guide to help you navigate the ins and outs of making serious income with YouTube. So whether it's through AdSense, affiliate marketing, or secret pay-to-play methods, this guide has everything you need to know to start making money on YouTube as fast as possible. So definitely check it out. It'll be down in the description in the pinned comment below. So click down there. Next is going to be a translator. With Amazon operating in numerous countries, they're always on the lookout for translators. And if you're fluent in multiple languages, you could find yourself translating product listings, customer communications, or even internal documents. And at Amazon, the estimated total pay for a translator ranges from $20 to $38 an hour, encompassing both base salary and additional compensation. So this is another one to definitely look into. So especially if you're multilingual, this is definitely a really good opportunity for you. Next is going to be a data entry specialist. And while this might not be the most glamorous job, data entry is still crucial for Amazon's operations. And you'll be responsible for inputting and updating information in Amazon's vast databases. So attention to detail is key here. And in these types of positions, you're typically going to make between $17 and $21 per hour, including base salary and additional pay. Next is going to be an HR coordinator. And even in the remote setting, Amazon needs HR professionals to manage employee relations, recruitment, and benefits. And if you have experience in human resources, this could be a great opportunity to work for one of the world's largest employers. Now at Amazon, a human resource coordinator's estimated total pay ranges from $25 to $35 per hour. So not a bad one. Next is going to be a social media specialist. And Amazon's social media presence is huge and they need people to manage it. You could be responsible for creating content, engaging with customers, and running social media campaigns for various Amazon brands. Now, according to Indeed, the average hourly salary for this position is about $14 to $15. So yeah, definitely not the best, but also not the worst at the same time. But if you're interested in managing your own social media, definitely check out the YouTube training that's completely free down below. 11 is going to be a virtual executive assistant, and many Amazon executives need support managing their hectic schedules, correspondence, and projects. And if you're highly organized and can juggle multiple tasks, this role could put you in the heart of Amazon's operations. So it's not exactly clear what the salary is, but here's a typical salary for an executive assistant. Next is going to be an online arbitrage specialist, and this is yet another entrepreneurial opportunity. You'll be searching for products on other websites that you can buy and resell on Amazon for a profit. And this is one of the oldest businesses known to man. You're basically buying low and selling high. And it does require a good eye for deals and understanding of the market. So with Amazon retail arbitrage, you might earn less than $5,000 per month. And Amazon takes roughly a third of your revenue through fees. So it's not a job. It is something that you do need money to start off with. And it's probably going to take you some time to make money, but it is a good one to look into. Next is going to be a graphic designer. And from product images to marketing materials, Amazon needs a lot of visual content. And if you got design skills, you could find yourself creating everything from logos to infographics. And according to Glassdoor, you make about fifty-eight dollars to $103,000 a year. So this could be a really good one, especially if you specialize in product listing and product graphics. Next is going to be a software development engineer. And for those with coding skills, Amazon offers numerous opportunities in software development. And you could be working on anything from the main Amazon website to AWS services. And the best part, many of these roles are now remote. And at Amazon, the estimated total pay for a software development engineer ranges from 167 to 237 thousand dollars a year. So yeah, this is a very high paying job. With that being said, the software development market has cooled down a bit. They did have a lot of layoffs. It used to be that if you had a warm body and a pulse, you'd be able to get a software development job. And now you really do have to know your stuff. It's not as easy to get a job at all. But yeah, still a very valuable skill set to learn. Next is going to be a business analyst. And Amazon runs on data and they need analysts to make sense of it all. And in this role, you'll be crunching numbers, creating reports and providing insights to help drive business decisions. 
So the estimated total pay for a business analyst ranges from $99,000 to $153,000 per year, including base salary and additional compensation. So yeah, this is one where if you understand data and you understand a little bit about business, this can be an incredible opportunity for you and you can make a ton of money. Plus there's other positions you can move into down the line that are even better. Next is going to be a project manager. So with so many moving parts, Amazon needs skilled project managers to keep everything on track. So you'll be coordinating teams, managing timelines, and ensuring projects are delivered on time and on budget. And the estimated total pay for a project manager at Amazon ranges from $98,000 per year, encompassing both base salary and additional compensation. So yeah, really good money. You got to have leadership skills. You got to be good at organization and management, but this can be a really good one to get into. And next is going to be a customer insights analyst. And with this one, Amazon is always trying to understand its customers better. So in this role, you'll be analyzing customer data, conducting surveys, and providing insights to help improve the customer experience. So the estimated total pay for customer insights analyst at Amazon ranges from $67,000 to $143,000 per year. And coming full circle, a lot of people actually start off as customer service representatives and then move into this role as a customer insights analyst because let's be honest, nobody knows the customers better than the people who have to talk to them all day long. So even one of the worst jobs you could possibly get customer service representative down the line could turn into a very lucrative career. And if you wanna know the 17 remote job companies that are almost always hiring other than Amazon, check out this video right here.